to the next level. Ready? Retro Gaming Enthusiast Next Level Taken here. It's hard to believe it's been 20 years since Crazy Taxi was first released in the arcade. The game that was developed by Hitmaker, published by Sega, first appeared in the arcades in 1999, later ported to the Dreamcast in 2000. It is the third best-selling game on the Dreamcast to date. One of, it's a million seller. It's one of the first Sega games that got ported and published on other consoles when the Dreamcast was going under. The Crazy Taxi was ported over for Sega by Acclaim, ported to the game. I mean, eventually Crazy Taxi would end up on PC, on Game Boy Advance, PSP. Actually, the port on PSP is actually pretty decent. And it actually allowed you to use your own soundtrack. The cool thing about Crazy Taxi was back in the day, you were driving to real places. So you were driving to KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, you were driving to uh, Levi's Jeans Clothing Store, you were driving to Tower Records, which is obviously now defunct, thanks to the Spotify and MP3s and what have you. But you were driving to real places that obviously they didn't include in future iterations because some of these places have gone under, and it probably just didn't make financial sense for them to kill out all this licensing fees. So they, they named it generic stuff in the later ports, which is unfortunate. So the Dreamcast game is the ideal place to play it. That or the arcade, of course. 60 frames per second, fast. Now there was some frame rate drops here and there when the action started getting hot and heavy. But, fantastic game where you could earn tips by performing crazy stunts. And so the better you drove, the longer you could drive for, the more money you would make in the game. So, it was a fantastic game. And it sort of bleeds over in Simpsons Road Rage. I think Simpsons Road Rage copied it a bit from Crazy Taxi. Offspring and Bad Religion were the main components of the soundtrack of the original Crazy Taxi game. And some of the later ones, too. Now, obviously, thanks to copyrights and things, I can't play those songs, unfortunately. But anytime I hear All I Want, I immediately think Crazy Taxi. That's how embedded that song is in my head, or 10 and 2010, or any of these classic songs that were in Crazy Taxi. Now, unfortunately, as I said, copyrights prohibit me from playing those songs right now. And unfortunately, they're not in the ports. So if you play it on Xbox 360 or Xbox One or what have you, you're not going to hear the original song, which sucks. But thanks to the power of PSP, yeah, I said power of PSP, I did, <laughs> or the Xbox One, they both have custom soundtracks, so you can put those songs back in there. That's the one cool part. If you're on a system that's fortunate enough to have that power, that ability. Not all of them do. But Crazy Taxi is a classic. I'm gonna forgive the later mobile ports and spin-offs that have been pretty much lousy for the most part. But Crazy Taxi is a classic. Stands out. It will be missed, it will be remembered fondly. Here's hoping we get a Crazy Taxi 4 one day on the consoles that will do us some justice. What's your favorite Crazy Taxi memory? Did you ever get a chance to play this game in the arcades? Or on a Dreamcast or PS2 or PS3 or 360 or the backwards compatible Xbox One? Or, I mean, this game has been ported everywhere and anywhere. So I'd be surprised if someone has never heard of Crazy Taxi before. Fantastic game, a little shallow, somewhat, but ultimately the gameplay mechanics are fantastic. The music soundtrack, the original one that is, is fantastic. And it sucks you in, and it's just it's all about good old fashioned arcade goodness. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. The next level, take it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.